In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a thermostat housing on your Ford Focus. This will be located behind the intake manifold. Let's get started. We're going to start to drain the coolant. To do this, open the petcock on the radiator. This is on the bottom left. Before you open this, be sure that you have a collection bucket under you. Open this and allow the radiator to drain. Once the coolant's done draining, be sure to close the petcock. Using a right angle pick, we're going to pick up on the tab for the connector. Remove the connector. This is the tab that you're going to pick up on. Put the cable to the side. Remove the connector. You can either pull it off of the bracket, just like that, or you can disconnect it. There's a button on the top, go ahead and press that. Push on this tab and remove the connector. Pull the harness out of the way. Remove the hose from the thermostat housing using a long flat blade screwdriver or a trim tool. I'm gonna push on the hose. As I push on the hose, I'm gonna pull it forward. Caution, before removing the hose, be sure you have a drip tray under you. Coolant may come out. We're gonna pinch and pull back the clamps on the thermostat housing. Remove the hose off the thermostat housing. Pull it to the side. We're gonna remove the three eight millimeter bolts on the thermostat housing. There's one in the top left, top right, and bottom right. Using a semi-long quarter inch extension and a short eight millimeter socket. We can get straight onto the bolt. Looking down through the top of the intake, you're able to see the bolts on the right hand side. Remove all three bolts. Break the seal on the thermostat and pull it out of the vehicle. Using a razor blade, go around and clean the mounting surface for the thermostat housing. We don't want to take any material off, we just want to get any of the crust off. Go around the whole surface doing this. Using a clean rag and some brake parts cleaner, we're gonna spray our rag. Clean the thermostat housing mating surface. Take your finger and put a little bit of new coolant around the rubber seal. Install the thermostat housing. Get the bolt started. Get all of the bolts installed and snug them down. Torque the thermostat housing bolts to 89 inch pounds. I'm going to do the top left and the bottom right and then finish on the top right. I'll go around one more time just to double check. Beep. 
install the cooling hose onto the thermostat housing. Make sure it's fully seated. Pinch the clamp and get it back to its original position on the hose. Install the top hose. Pinch the clamp and put it back to its original position. Install the connector onto the clip. Reach down and grab the knock sensor harness. Install the connector. Push until you hear a click. If you don't, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked on. Install the connector for the power steering sensor. Push until you hear a click. If you don't, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked on. This one has a little bit of movement, but it is locked. Remove the cap for the coolant reservoir. I'm going to install an adapter for a coolant funnel. Fill the reservoir until it's at the max line. Remove the funnel, install the cap, start and run the engine, hold it at 2500 RPM for approximately 8 minutes until the thermostat opens, then for another 3 minutes after the thermostat opens. Increase the engine speed to 4000 RPM and hold for 5 seconds. Return the engine speed to 2500 RPM and hold for another 3 minutes. Shut the engine off and allow it to cool. Check the engine for any leaks. Check the coolant level in the expansion tank and fill as necessary. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.